Okay guys, so now it's time to go ahead and get our bag of steeping grains out of here. Got a uh, oven mitt here. I'm gonna use to grab it because this bag's 150 degrees, which is definitely uncomfortable. So we lift it up out of the, out of the uh, pot here, let it drain a bit. And then what you wanna do is have another pot of water, a smaller one here, that you're gonna pour over and you want to just basically rinse this like it's a tea bag and get the last of what we're getting out of here are the sugars and kind of see what we're doing here. And you see it's, it's, it's running a little bit more clear out of the bottom. It means we're rinsing out more of the sugars. <clears throat> and something else you can do here, you don't want to do it too hard, but you know, just push a little bit against the side of the pot with a spoon. Squeeze the bag between the side of the pot here with the spoon. This will just get out a little bit more of the sugars. Pressing on the bottom too will kind of help get a little bit more out. Okay, <clears throat> now I've just got an empty pot over here. I'm gonna put these in. All right, so the specialty grains are out, and now it's time to get our malt extract in there. Okay, now we got the grains out, so now it's time to add our malt extract syrup. And remember, we had this in the sink in 150 degree water on the outside, so that's made it a lot more liquid and uh, easy to work with. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to pour this in and while we pour it we want to uh, be stirring. So I'm going to try to get a good angle here. Pour it in from over here and stir it over here. Alright, there we go. Take your spoon in here and scrape this out. And this is so much easier if you heat it up beforehand, like we did for 30 minutes in the sink. Otherwise, it's really tough to work with this stuff. And you want to get as close as you can to getting all of it out because, you know, the recipes are pretty well calculated. So you don't want to lose a lot of, leave a lot of ingredients behind if you want the recipe to be very accurate, especially very repeatable. So see, we got our extract syrup out. I'm going to stir this up. And now our mission is to crank this heat up and get it going to a boil as soon as we can. So once we get it right up to a boil is when we're gonna add our first hop addition because we're gonna boil for one hour, 60 minutes. And some of the hops, the first hops that go in are called bit, are bittering hops and those go in for 60 minutes total. So we're gonna wait till we get to the boil then we'll add those first hops. So we'll come back when we're uh, getting this right up to a boil. 